I'm Victoria. I'm one of the Sunday Club leaders for the P1 and P2 children. And it is lovely to be able to speak to you today. But it's made me think that Jude and I really miss seeing you. We really miss hearing your stories and hearing your chat. And it made me remember when we were together at Sunday Club. Do you remember we used to learn memory verses? And Jude used to bring her lovely teddies in with us. Now, which teddy was your favourite? I know, I loved all of them, but I did love Olaf. He was so cute with his lovely carrot nose. And learning memory verses has made me think, have you been learning any memory verses since you've been at home? That's brilliant. But also another thing that you can learn from the Bible is the books of the Bible. Did you know that there are 66 books in the Bible? There are 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New Testament. I know, it's a lot of books, but it's great to be able to learn what order they come in. So if you've got your Bible like me and you want to read the story of Daniel in the lion's den and you think, where is the book of Daniel? And I know our Sunday Clubbers are great. So lots of you know that is in the Old Testament there are lots of stories that are quite tricky to find the book. So in our house we've started to play a game and I wondered if you'd like to play it this morning. We play a game where we say the book of the Bible and we have to decide is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament. Now I know you guys are great at this so let's all have a go. Okay so I'll say the name of the book and you tell me you call out if it's in the Old Testament or the New Testament. So I think everybody will be able to get this one. Let's go. Mark. Brilliant. I thought you would know that one. Really good. Okay, we need to make it trickier. What about Acts? That's right. That's in the New Testament as well. Brilliant. You are getting good at this. Okay, even harder. So older children in the Sunday Club, let's get your thinking caps on. Hmm. Sam's. Brilliant. Old Testament. Lots of you got that one. Really, really good. So I wonder if you would like to have a challenge. And that challenge would be to learn the books of the Bible together. Now, as you can see, I am outside to chat to you today. And I can smell the smell of lovely cut grass. And I love that. And that reminds me of being at school and having school sports days. And also in this summer, we were going to have the Olympics. But unfortunately, as you know, both have been canceled, which does make a lot of us sad because I know that lots of our Sunday Club children love school sports day and you're very competitive, which is great. And you are really good at sport. So let me think, what could we do with learning the books of the Bible and thinking about sport? Books of the Bible Olympics. Let's do it. Right. Let me see. We could have four events in our Bible, Books of the Bible Olympics. So the first event is going to be the New Testament Sprint. How fast can you say the books of the Bible in the New Testament? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Act, Romans, Second Corinthians. Wow, so fast. Okay, the second event in our Olympics is going to be the marathon. Can you say all 66 books of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Good job, that is a tricky one. So the third event in our Olympics is going to be the New Testament relay. Can you or and one or more people in your house take it in turns to say all the books in the New Testament between you? Je Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First Corinthians. Wow, Corinthians. great teamwork. Now, moving from the track into a field event, our fourth and final event 
is the high jump. Can you say the books of the New Testament whilst jumping? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st Corinthians, 2nd Corinthians. Yes. What a skill! Love it. Okay. Now I am aware that it is not only our Sunday club children who are competitive in our church and who are missing out on school sports days. Some of the adults in our church have been known to be competitive too and secretly train all year for the adults events in the school sports days. So we don't want you to miss out this year. So please, this event is for Sunday club children and anybody in the church, adults included, who would love to have a go. So, to compete in the books of the Bible, all you need is a list of the books of the Bible, and there's one that we've put into the resource section of Church Suite. You are allowed to read the list during the event, but why not see if you can do it from memory? There's also a list of the events and their details in the resource section too. You'll need a stopwatch or someone to count the time for you in your event. Then there's a results table. In the resource section, you can fill it in or just write your results in an email and get a grown up to send your results to my email address, which is on the screen now. If you would like to send us a video of you in training or competing in the events, we would love it. And we would love Sunday clubbers and for adults to join in. When we have collated your results, we would love to give you a shout out and share your videos on a Sunday morning. So please get into training, start learning the books of the Bible. Now to give you some incentive, P1 and P2 children, did you know, I only learned this recently, that one of your mummies can say all 66 books of the Bible in 25 seconds. Wow! So that is something we can all strive towards. So. We hope you enjoy this challenge and I look forward to being together in church again and seeing the lightning speed that you can get to a Bible passage on a Sunday morning. God bless.